Hey guys and welcome to Arctech. So in this video, I'll solve an output question based on passing an array as function argument. So in this question, we are passing an array which is a character array whose name is old text as argument. So this is the array and we are passing the array as argument here. Now the point here is when we pass an array as function argument, then the array is always passed by reference. There is no way of passing an array by the call by value method. Okay, so there is only one way of passing an array that is called by reference. So whenever in the question you get uh, array passed by passed to a function, then it is always passed by reference. Now when we pass a variable or a argument as reference, then we are actually passing the real argument. Okay, so whatever changes are made inside the calling function will be reflected in the main array or in the main variable. We'll see this. Now second thing is when we declare a character array, that is when we declare a string then automatically the compiler will assign a null value to the last element of the array okay so we get a null character at the last element of the array for example here we have declared a old text character array okay so and we have we have assigned the values for this now automatically the compiler will assign a null character at the end of the string that is after e so here you can see uh, you can see this is the null value that is assigned after e okay now we have also used some functions like uh, two upper and two lower in this question. So we'll see this. Now, first thing is we'll see how much variables are present inside this question. So here we have three variables. I have made three columns here inside this table. Now we'll go inside the main first and we'll see line by line. The first thing is declaration of this array, which is nothing but character array and whose name is old text. And these are the values. Now after this, we are calling the function change. That is this function. And we are passing two arguments. The first one is the array. And second one is a character which is nothing but the modulus sign okay now after execution of this line the control will go to this change function so here we have this function taking two arguments that is text character array and then we have a character c so as soon as this uh, function is called the character text array will get values of this old text okay so here we have text getting the values of all this old text that is here you can see there is this table here that text of 0 is p now text of 1 is o now that is capital o text of 2 is w and so on okay so our text is nothing but the old text okay after this character c that is a variable will get the value of modulus sign okay so here we have c that is a character variable will get the value for this uh, modulus that is nothing but a character okay now after this we'll enter inside this change function and here we have a for loop now inside the for loop we have first thing as initialization and we have integer k is equal to 0. So here I have made a column for k and I will write 0 here. After this uh, I have the test condition here that is text of k is not equal to null character. Okay, This is the null character that is present at the end of any string. Okay, So here we have text of k that is text of 0 is equal to what is text of 0? Text of 0 is p. So I will write p here that is a small p. Okay. Now after this, I'll check the condition. Is text of k not equal to zero, not equal to null? Okay. Now text of k is p, and p is obviously not equal to null because null is this. Therefore, our condition is true because, because this is not equal to. Okay. So this is not equal to null. So we will enter inside this for condition for loop. So here we have four conditions inside the for loop. Now here we have first condition as if text of k is greater than or equal to f and text of k is less than or equal to l. That is capital. Okay. I will check is p in between these two conditions okay that is is p greater than or equal to this two now since p is a small uh, character and f and l given in this condition are uh, capitals therefore this is not our required case so after this we have else if and inside this we have if text of k is equal to e that is capital e or we have text of k is equal to small e this is not true because this is not equal this is not true okay this is not e so we'll leave this we'll go for the next uh, condition here we have if tech if k modulus 2 is equal to 0 okay so we'll see that now k is 0 and we'll see k modulus 2 okay now k is 0 so we have 0 modulus 2 is equal to 0 why because 2 into 0 is equal to 0 and the remainder here is 0 so we have this as 0 and here we'll check the condition is k modulus 2 equal to 0 yes it is true because this we got as 0 okay so we'll just get, enter inside this if condition so we have text of k is equal to 2 upper of text of k. Now text of k is nothing but text of uh, 0. Okay. Text of 0 is nothing but p that is small p. 
and we have here text of k will become 2 upper of text of k that is nothing but capital P. So we'll write capital P here. And inside this, we have changed the value for this. We have modified the value for text of 0 that is that is capital P. So we'll write this here. So our modified array is this now. Now to this, we'll leave this condition because we have executed this else part. So we'll just leave this and we'll go for the next iteration. Okay. So we have uh, k plus plus now. Okay. So we have k will become now 1. Okay. After this, we'll check the condition is text of k is equal not equal to null. Okay. Now text of k is nothing but text of 1. Text of 1 is O. That is a capital O. So I'll write it here. Now we'll check the condition is text of k not equal to null. Now this O is not equal to null. So we'll so this is true. Okay. So we'll enter inside this for loop. So here we have again the four conditions. So we'll check one by one. So our text of k that is O is not in between this F and L. So we'll leave this condition. We'll go for next condition. That is is text of k is equal to E. It is not true. So we'll leave this. So we'll go for next. That is is k modulus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. So we have now k is equal to 1 and 1 modulus 2 is equal to 1. Why? Because 2 into 0 is 0 and the remainder here is 1. So, we'll, so it's, this is not true because k modulus 2 is equal to 1 and 1 is not equal to 0. So this is false. Okay. So we'll just leave this. We'll go for the last one that is else text of k is equal to text of k minus 1. Now k is 1 and uh, k minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Okay. So we have text of k that is text of 1 will become text of 0. Okay. So text of 0 is this O, this P sorry. So I'll just write here text of this as P and I also modify this in the array. So we have this as P. Okay. So we'll just go for the next iteration. So we have K plus plus. So K is now 2. Okay. And then we have text of k is equal to text of 2 that is w that is a small w okay this is small okay so now we check the condition is text of k not equal to null text of k is w and w is not equal to null so this is true so we'll enter inside this for loop so here, here we'll check again that these conditions that is if is w between f and l it is not true so we'll leave this that is second one is is w uh, equal to a small e or capital E it is not true because w is w so we'll leave this we'll check this condition is k modulus 2 is equal to 0 now k is 2 okay and 2 modulus 2 is equal to 0 why because 2 into 1 is 2 okay and the remainder here is 0 okay because 2 is equal to 2 so we have remainder as 0 and therefore we have k modulus 2 is equal to 0 so here we have this thing as 0 therefore 0 is equal to 0 so this is true. So we'll enter inside this if condition. Here we have text of k is equal to 2 upper of text of k. Now text of k is w and 2 upper of w is capital W. So I'll just modify this here as w. Okay. So then we'll, we'll go for the next iteration. We have k plus plus that is k is now 3. Okay. So we'll check is text of k that is text of k is nothing but text of 3. Text of 3 is e that is a capital E. So I'll just write e here. Now is text of k not, not equal to null now e is obviously not equal to null so we'll just enter inside this for loop so here we have the first condition it is not true because e is not between e f and l so we'll leave this now the second condition is true why because e is equal to e okay so this condition is true therefore this is true hence we'll enter inside this if conditions here we have text of k is equal to c okay so now c is nothing but modulus here okay therefore we have text of k is equal to modulus now Okay, now text of k is text of text of key 3 and text of 3 is e. So I'll just modify this as modulus. Okay, so then we'll go for the next iteration because we have executed this part. So we'll leave this part and we'll go for next iteration. So we have k is equal to 4 now. Okay, so then we'll ch check the condition is text of k not equal to null. Text of k is text of 4 and text of 4 is capital R and R is not equal to null. So we'll just enter inside this for loop because this one is true. So here we have again these conditions. Now is capital R in between F and L. So this first condition is false because R is not in between F and L. So we'll leave this. Your second condition is this true? It is false because R is not equal to E. Your third thing is is K modulus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now we have K is equal to 4 and 4 modulus 2 is equal to 0. Why? Because 2 into 2 is equal to 4 and we have remainder as equal to 0 because 2 into 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so we have this thing as true. That is this part is true. 
So we'll enter inside this if condition. So here you have, here you have text of k is equal to 2 over power of text of k. Now text of k is r, which is a capital R, and 2 over power of this is the same thing because uh, the 2 over power of any capital is the capital only. Okay, so we have this as r. So I'll just okay. So then we'll leave this part because we have executed this part. So we'll go for next iteration that we have here is for uh, k plus plus that is this is five now. Okay, so we have text of k. Text of k is k, uh, text of five, and text of five is a. So we have text of k as a here. So we'll check the condition. Is text of k not equal to null? Text of k is a, and a is not equal to null. Okay, so we'll just uh, enter in, inside this for loop. So we have again these conditions. That is, is text of k in between f and l? It is not true. So we'll leave this part. It is. Is this true? Because uh, this is not true because a is not equal to e. So we'll leave this part. So we'll, we have this part. So we'll check is k modulus 2 equal to 0. So we have k is equal to 5. Okay. And uh, 5 modulus 2 is equal to 1. Why? Because five, uh, 2 into 2 is 4 and the remainder here is 1. So it is not true because k modulus 2 is equal to 1 and 1 is not equal to 0. So we'll leave this. We'll go for the last thing that is text of k is equal to text of k minus 1. Okay. Now text of k, uh, now k is 5. So text of k is text of 5. And text of k minus 1 is text of 4. Okay. So we have text of 5 is equal to text of 4. Text of 5 is a. Now a will become text of 4. That is r. So we have this as r now. Okay. So we have next iteration. So we have k plus plus. That is k is 6 now. Okay. So we'll check the condition. Is text of k not equal to null? Text of 6 is l. So we have this thing as l here. And l is not equal to null. Okay. So we'll leave. So we'll. Uh, so this condition is true. Hence we'll enter inside this for loop. So inside the for loop we have this first condition. Okay. Now here we have text of k is greater than or equal to f. Okay. Now text of k is l and l is greater than f. It is true. Okay. So second thing is text of k less than or equal to l. Okay. Now text of k is is equal to l. Okay. Therefore this is also true. Hence we have this both as true. Hence we'll enter inside this if condition. So we have here we have text of k is equal to 2 lower of text of k. Now text of k is l that is a capital L and 2 lower of l is small l. So we have this as l. I'll just modify this here also. So we have text of 6 that is a uh, text of 6 as small l. Okay. So then we'll go for next iteration. We have k plus plus that is k is 7 now. And then we have text of k not equal to uh, null. So text of k is text of 7 and text of 7 is o that is a small o. We'll check the condition is text of k not equal to null. It is true because o is not equal to null. So we'll enter inside this for loop. Here we have first condition as this. This is false because this is small. K, our text of k is small and these are capital one. So we'll leave this. Second thing is, is text of k equal to e. It is not true because o is not equal to e. So we have third condition. We have text of k, uh, sorry, we have k modulus 2 is equal to 0. Okay. Now k is 7. Okay. And 7 modulus 2 is equal to 1. Why? Because 2 into 3 is 6. 2 into 3 is 6. And we have remainder for 7 modulus 2 is equal to 1. Okay. Now, this thing is 1. And 1 is not equal to 0. So, we'll leave this part. We'll go for the last condition. That is, text of k is equal to text of k minus 1. That is, text of 7 is equal to text of 6. Okay. Now, text of 6 is L, small l. So, we have text of 7 is equal to text of 6 that is small l okay that's it so we'll go for next iteration we have k plus plus so k is 8 now and text of 8 is n that is a small n okay now after this we'll check the condition is text of k not equal to null character okay now text of k is n and n is not equal to null so we'll leave this so we'll this is true okay so we'll let at this we have this condition this is not true because n is small and these two are capital so small n is obviously not between these two so we'll leave this we'll go for next that is is text of k is equal to e it is not true we'll leave this is text of is a k modulus 2 equal to 0 now k is 8 and 8 modulus 2 is equal to 0 why because 2 into 4 is 8 and uh, we have reminder here is 0 okay so we have this thing as 0 therefore this is 0 and 0 is equal to 0 this is true. So we'll enter inside this if condition. So we have text of k is equal to 2 over of text of k. Now text of k is n and 2 over of small n is capital N. So we have this thing as n. Hence we have text of 8 as equal to n here. Okay. 
so we'll go for next iteration we have k as 9 now okay and text of 9 is small e okay we'll check the condition is text of k not equal to null text of k is e and e is not equal to null so this is true so we'll enter inside this for loop first thing is first condition is this and e is small and small e is not between this capital f and l so we'll leave this second thing is is e equal to small e or is e is uh, equal to capital e okay now e is equal to small e okay this is true because uh, text of k is equal to small e so we'll enter inside this so we have text of k is equal to c so c is nothing but modulus so we have text of k that is 9 is equal to text of 9 is equal to modulus okay now we'll go for next iteration so we have k plus plus so k is 10 now okay and text of 10 is null character okay i'll just copy this and paste it here okay now we'll check the condition is text of k not equal to null this is false because text of k is equal to null and null is equal to null hence this condition is false so we'll just leave this for loop and hence we'll just leave this function that is change function so we'll go for uh, we'll go back in the main okay now inside the main we have executed this part so after this we have cout and I'll just copy this thing and I'll paste it in the output set. So in the answer sheet, you'll write this thing that is new text. And then you'll write the value that is string for this old text. Now, since we have passed this string as reference, therefore, this is our new values for this string. Okay. So we have this as. So in the answer sheet, you'll write this output because our uh, string is changed now. And we have these values as new values for our old text. Okay. So this is the only thing. And uh, thanks for watching.